Hello and welcome back to another Make Magazine Weekend Project. I'm Kip K. Today, we're going to make one of the smallest, sneakiest storage devices for your secret stuff. You can find this and other cool spy gadget projects in Make, Volume 16. And the U.S. battery is on page 80 by Andrew Lewis. All you need for this project is a small flash drive like the Kingston Data Traveler and also some cheap, generic dollar store AA batteries. Now, I chose the non-alkaline version, and I'll explain why in just a sec. You're probably also going to want to wear a pair of gloves and also a pair of safety goggles while you do this project. The first step is to remove the label from one AA battery. Now, I used an X-Acto knife to cut along the seam where the label is and then carefully peel the label off. And you want to save that because we're going to use it later. Now, out to the shop with our battery, and we're going to fire up our Dremel and put it on medium speed. And we've got our battery in the vise, and we're going to start cutting away at the negative end of the AA battery. And you keep making cuts and keep rotating the battery until you've uh, cut all the way through and removed that end cap. Now we need to completely gut the inside of that AA battery. And here's where the non-alkaline batteries come into play. Alkaline batteries have a gooey, liquidy, messy guts inside, whereas the non-alkaline batteries are just pretty much just a dried carbon material, which comes out a lot easier. And then I used a couple of Q-tips with some uh, alcohol to clean out the inside and then finished it off with a paper towel. And uh, you just want to completely clean out the housing of that AA battery. Now it's time to pop open the flash drive, and that's easily accomplished with a small screwdriver and uh, just snap the two plastic halves apart, revealing the main board and the USB connector, and that's all we should end up with. And now off to our soldering station where we're going to desolder that USB connector because it's not going to fit inside that AA battery housing the way it is. So completely remove that, and then we're going to add four wires to the existing USB connector connections, then I kind of bent those wires over a little bit and uh, soldered those to the existing main board connections. Depending on the flash drive you have, you may need to sand the edges of that main board so it fits inside the AA housing. Be careful not to grind away into any components or traces when you do this. Then your flash drive board and your repositioned USB port should fit inside your AA battery. And the next step is just cosmetics, and you're going to take the original label that we removed from the battery, put it back on the new U.S. battery, and uh, by touching it up and cleaning it up a little bit, you can make it look very realistic. And the last step is to close it off, and the easiest way to do that is to take a very small magnet, attach it to the end of the USB port that's inside, and then attach the negative cap that came off the battery when you first took it apart. And now, you've got a super small, sneaky storage device for your secret stuff. 